Hi there. In this demo, um, I want to show you one of the um, features within CACI Forecaster uh, known as snapshots. And snapshots are useful when you're building models and comparing the performance of different models. Um, so I'm going to do that by creating a new solution. So let's just call this one, um, I'm going to call it forecast value add. Um, I'm going to save that on the disk there. I'm going to import some CSV data using this sort of normal importation process for the forecaster. So let's just get this data in as quick as we can. Um, this is some daily data. Um, we've got a whole year's worth of data. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to forecast for December. So I'm going to use the data uh, up to December to build our model. And then I'm going to forecast from December. Um, I've got to set the data range. I want to use just initially, I'm just going to do a really naive model, a uh, simple model uh, that uses 28 days of data. I'm going to forecast for the rest of December. I'm going to forecast calls. Um, I'm just going to specify an input. The model doesn't actually need the input. I'm going to use a custom model. Um, and the model we're going to use is our naive day of the week, which needs to know the date is. So let's go. You can see this in more detail in a previous uh, demo, but let's just get this one trained up as quick as we can. So the naive model is just taking an average uh, day of the week volume for calls and using that as our forecast going forward. So it should be a fairly you know, a repetitive sort of forecasting. You can see if you look over the full forecast range there that it hasn't really picked up anything of interest other than the sort of average weekly profile, uh, which isn't too bad, but you know, I think we can probably do better. So let's just rename um, this project. Um, let's quit our naive model. Spelling right, there we go. So that's the naive model. What I want to do now is I want to say, well, can I, can I do better? So what, what's the easiest way of doing that in the forecast? Well, I think the easy way is to take what we call a project snapshot. And a project snapshot just takes a copy um, of all the data uh, that was in that naive model. So we've got all these columns and, and, and rows um, and all the settings. So this is just a direct copy of our naive model. But what we can do now is we can change the input. So I can add some different inputs there and rather than use a custom model, I could use a regression model. Uh, let's just rename this so that we know uh, this is our regression model. There we go. So that's set up there. Uh, we chose a regression. We're saying use uh, these three inputs to forecast calls. Uh, let's also check our data ranges. I want to use the, yep, that's the case. I'm using the full history now. And let's hit train. With the regression model, rather than just taking a straight average on each day of the week, we actually get a formula uh, that the regression function works out. Uh, so calls are a function of the weekend, weekday flag. We also picked up marketing on the weekday. And you can see the importance of the different variables down here in the output window. Uh, let's forecast with that model. And then let's go back to the analysis tab and have a look. Uh, let's overlay the forecast on top of each other. We see here the regression model in red. Uh, versus the naive forecasting model in green and then the actuals for December um, in blue. And you can see down here that the, the naive model had an RMS error of around about 37 and our regression model got an RMS error of around uh, 17. So you can see that we've increased the accuracy of the model um, over the naive model by using regression and including additional drivers in, in, in that forecast process. So snapshots are really easy, they just let you take copies of data and you can, you can nest these snapshots as far down as you want to go so you can sort of branch these things off um, as you want to sort of refine your models. And it's not unusual uh, when I'm creating forecast models to end up with you know, a fair number of snapshots. But what it means at the end of the day is you can then just keep everything in one project um, and, and not have to worry uh, about losing track of what you've done and you can easily compare the forecast accuracy across different uh, projects. And then it's also possible to run sort of external reports across all these uh, models in one go, which just makes it nice and easy uh, to see uh, how each one's performing. So this is just showing the RMS error for the naive model versus the regression model. See, we sort of halved, halved the error there. So that's it really, snapshots in a nutshell.